What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever and 77 subscribers we got now. 100 is my goal, 1000 is my mission and we're, two, we're three quarters of the way to my goal so that is absolutely awesome. Right, the game. Now so far, <coughs> voice break, <laughs> we've been focusing on passengers and we're going to do some more of that today but we're also going to start on freight and I've had a really interesting idea on how we're going to do that. So, passenger-wise, in Ireland, everything's connected. In Scotland, everything's connected. And most of the way... Uh, well, everything in this map, in this picture, is connected. It's just Brighton and Plymouth we have to connect. And, honestly, that's going to be pretty easy, I think. But, here's the thing. I don't want to just send a passenger line down there and then focus on freight. Because, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the passenger line and the freight line together. And it's going to be slightly difficult and complicated, but I think we can manage it. So, my plan, over here we have an oil plant. An oil well? What are they call Yeah, oil well. Over here we have a fuel plant, an oil refinery, where we can make fuel. Fuel is what towns need. The most efficient way to do a line is to have the raw resource go to the plant and then the manufactured material, in this case fuel, sent back along the same line. So that is exactly what we're going to do. But we're not going to send it back to the well. We're going to send it there and then transfer it over to a, a uh, central sort of freight yard, which is going to go somewhere here. And if this works, I think we can make a heck of a lot of money off this. So that is my plan. First things first, we're going to have to get rid of the bus line. Unfortunately, it's just not the best. It's not going to work for now. Oh, we also got to connect Norwich. I didn't think about that. Okay, that just got slightly more interesting. Um, how are we going to connect Norwich? Uh, okay, I got quite a cool idea, but this is going to take a while, so, and I know some of you guys don't like it, but we're going to do a short little time lapse, hopefully not too long.
Well, that was easily one of the longest time lapses I've ever done. I'm probably going to have to edit that out, but that was extremely complicated. I'm not kidding. We've got seven new lines and yeah, quite a lot of difficulties came up, uh, mainly over here because it occurred to me that the lines were not right. The two inside ones matched and the two outside ones matched, so I had to put in this groovy little sort of flyover thing a majigger but yeah that was pretty damn difficult that was fun though <clears throat> i'm so happy i put them in that's awesome right we need to put some vehicles on here but first let me just show you what i've done so we've got two lines going from norwich to plymouth but they're different because one goes via London and one goes via Brighton. I've left the bus route in so people can still get from Brighton to London. But hopefully these lines work. And fuel-wise, we've got train station here, which the trains pick up oil and oh, game freeze. Take the oil all the way over here to get processed. Uh, no other way around. It goes from there to there to get processed. The fuel gets taken back. And then it gets picked up and shipped all the way over here to south of London, between London and Brighton. And it's distributed evenly between Brighton and London in the industri industrial areas. God, I can't talk today. I'm just really happy about these lines, so I'm talking really fast. Sorry about that. And uh, close all them. So now we need vehicles and my game keeps freezing. I uh, know they had an update earlier uh, when I launched the game and I think something broke because every now and again the camera freezes so yeah that's not particularly great. Right how on earth are we going to put vehicles on these lines? That is the million dollar question. I guess over here somewhere. So because the lines are on the same side I only have to put it in one crossover point that's good. So put that like that. And then another one coming off like that. Make it level so it looks nice. Uh, yeah, that's about level. And we need a depot. God, those buses are loud. Fair play. And uh, flip you around. Stick you on there. Perfect. Right, for the fuel lines. Um, what I'm going to do with this, something nice and simple. I'm just going to put a line out the back. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to run a line like that, connect that to there like that, and this just connect across like that, and straight over to the other line, and then I'm going to put a train depot, that one, on the end, like so. That should allow us to put all the lines on, I think. I'm going to have to smooth this off. I'll do this after I've finished recording. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to set this off. We've got a depot over here for the road vehicles. Yeah, let me just check whether any lines are broken, because I did screw up quite a lot of stuff. Oh, my God, every single line. No, it's not. I thought every line was making a profit then. Damn it, you deceived me. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Yeah, our biggest losers are just the planes, which isn't really that surprising. We have 20 million pounds. Wow, that is crazy. Right, anyway, trains. Now, this is where stuff gets fun. Oh, I so badly want to use these because they these actually go past my house in real life. So oh, I want to use them. But God, they're expensive. 7.12 million pounds. Uh, how much are the 37s? They're more affordable. Yeah, I'm going to chuck one of them on. And one, two, three, four. They're a million each. Jesus. And set you on Plymouth Oil. And then one, two, three, four. And we need... Let's go for a green one. That, like that, on there. That is extremely loud. Set you on Plymouth Fuel. So you're going to trot out now. Right, we got s nearly 7 million, 6.5 million. So we need... Uh, where do I put the depots? Over here. Uh, we need a passenger line by trains. This is going to be a... What are we going to use on here? What about Class 5 100? Um, top speed 56. That's not great, but I mean... 
everything else is extremely expensive so I think that's going to be our best choice so one of them with uh, carriages carriages let's go for the Donna Bush because it's got enough top speed so why not one two three um, we could have potentially put yeah let's put four on and this is going to go via Brighton and we want a class 5 100 which is there <laughs> talking of trains there's one going past my house now that's what you can hear in the background two at uh, one oh we've run out of money jeez that's irritating no nope, not enough damn it uh, I hate it when that happens this is the most frustrating part of the game uh, how are we losing that much money on that line already? Like, seriously, we're losing 200,000 on that line already. That makes no sense. Uh, what would be a smart idea, actually? If I... No, I'm going to keep them in the depot. Just going to close these. Put you over there so I don't forget. And we need some road vehicles to distribute. That might be the problem. That's why those lines are losing money. So by road vehicles, we want... Let's go for mans. One, two. These are extremely expensive. Wow. Three, four. Stick you on line. Let's go London first. So it's TRF. Uh, RF London fuel. One, two. Can't afford it. To, how much are they? 260,000 to... Ah, debt again. Let's just stick two on for now then. And this is going to be RF Brighton Fuel. Close you, close you, close you. Right, so now the fuel should start getting distributed. So the production plant should pick up the lines. Uh, not yet, but it will take a bit of time. That one has, see? And it's already at 300 production. So now it should start making us a little bit of money. Have you got anything on you? I doubt it. Come on. Nope, nothing yet. God, those class 37s are loud. Jesus. Right, now we need some carriages. We was using Donna Bushes. One. God, trains are so expensive. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to afford another carriage this month. I doubt it. And four. Perfect. And this is going to go on uh, Brighton, I believe. I think it's that one. Yes, it is. That is perfect. We now have, I believe, all our lines have vehicles on. No. RP Plymouth and RP RF Brighton. F no. TP Norwich to Plymouth. Uh, did I put two on the Brighton line? I think I did. Uh, where is it? TP there. Yes, I did. Well, that's a bugger. Okay. Let's find one of these trains. Where are you? You are nowhere near. And neither are you. Ah. Okay, let's follow you, I guess, then. Very loud. I do like this bridge. It's a shame that plant was right there because I had to curve it and the speed is not terrific on this part of the line. But other than that... I do love these flying junctions though, I think they're absolutely awesome. I like the one at the other end of the track more. Right, now you, I should be able to switch to the London line. Cracking. Right, it's just RP Plymouth now. Oh my god, look how much money we got already. <laughs> I'm going to stick them on here, they will get there eventually. Uh, let's go for sour tushers. One, two, three. F oh, out of money. How does that happen? Go from one million to nothing in an instance. Three, four. Set you on RP. Pa -pa 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 Where's Plymouth? There. Perfect. And we need two more mans on the Brighton line, if I remember right. Two. So set you all on RF Brighton fuel. That is awesome. That is actually really cool. God, I love that little bridge there. That looks like a genuine flying junction. It, it needs a little bit of smoothing. Go on, I'm going to do it. Hi, and big brush. That. Duh, that's down. 
yeah, just smooth. Just ignore the big hole that I made. Because that happens all the time. <laughs> just smoothy, smoothy, smoothy. And smooth you off. I'm not going to do too much of this, I promise. I'm just going to get rid of these lines over here. Oh, we've run out of money again. And smoothy, smoothy, smoothy. Right, we have a lot of error messages, so I'm going to have to have a look at them because I've got a feeling a lot of things have been broken. Smooth you. And this road by here I did some nasty stuff with to get that bridge in. That's awesome, though. Don't you think? Don't you think that looks really cool? Game freeze. I reckon it does. Eh, that's gonna have to be good enough. Right, error messages. Uh, What's up? Oh, there's no connection between... Yeah, I know, I cut that intentionally. I w wanted to get rid of the road so people would use our airplanes. I don't think it worked. Uh, oh wow, TP via Brighton is losing us some money. Uh, both of them are, actually. <laughs> Uh, bu -bum. What am I looking for? The airplane line, which would be... Where is the airplane line? There. Yeah, no passengers. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's really irritating. I was hoping that would make us a lot of money. Ooh, talking of planes. Boeing 737, the world's most popular airline. One of these takes off or lands somewhere in the world every five seconds. I bet you didn't know that. I don't know why I know that, to be honest, but I do, so... Uh, this has started picking up the lines. Oh wow, production limit hit already. Ooh, that presents us some problems. Right, I want to have a look at this fuel train. And for some reason when I press pause it didn't work. Okay, that was odd. Right, so you, pause. You are not fully loaded. But the production limit's reached. I know why. We need to put another train on the line going into there. That's like our central hub that feeds Brighton and London and all. Um, because it's twice the distance and it's the same number of carriages, so we need to put two trains on to make up for the distance. That is not going to be cheap. I think the locomotives were like five, uh, three million, weren't they? Yeah. Um... 87 miles an hour ain't bad. Huh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to afford that quite yet. But you've seen how fast we're building up money, so... You never know. Huh. Oh my god, look at Leeds. Oh, okay, what's that? 430 passengers? Ah, it's so irritating. It looks like loads, but it's not because it's all spread out. That's so irritating. There are quite a few on both lines, though. So, we probably should do something about that. What lines are on here? What are they running? We might have to put another train on. Oh, wow. They are big trains as well. They're not. But then they're not exactly small trains. Let's have a look at the finances on them. Uh, where are they? They'll be near the top. There, yeah, the two biggest lines. They're not actually full. I think this is just the busiest part of the line. That's why that station is so full. Yeah. We're probably going to have to have a look at that as well. Uh, I think my main priority now, though, is putting another train on here. So, let's have a look what we can do. We want a Class 37. I'm going to go for a green one. With... One, two... Nearly two. Come on. Before the end of the month. There you go. Two. And... Oh, can we get three? Come on. You know you want to. Seven. Eight hundred thousand. There you go. Three. One more. Not happening. Da. And four. Right, you need to go on Plymouth Fuel. Right, that should help take care of the, the uh, capacity issue. What's this up to now? See, it's dropped down because it just couldn't ship things fast enough. Any other of our depots overrun? No, everything seems fine down here. And everything seems fine. Are these getting passengers yet? Yes, Norwich is. And Plymouth also is. Ah, oh, this is working out. This is working well. Right, let's just check the lines, make sure everything's working. 
Look at that, we've got three lines earning over four million. That one's earning five. One and a half, one and a half. Uh, Plymouth Oil is earning 600,000 already. Where's the other line? So it would be TF. Where are you? Uh, TF, TF. There's Plymouth Fuel. And the, oh, there, yeah, that's the one. 70,000 that's earning. Right, anyway, guys, that is going to do it today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I realise this is a short episode, but I'm very stretched for time today. I've got work. So make sure you come back for the next episode. I will see you then. And don't forget to check out the link in the description for my sponsor to get some really cool clothing with 10% discount. And I will see you next time. Peace out.